Let's look at another sort of applied problem. Um, here in the fabulous wall of my TV studio, I have a uh, level line drawn on the wall here, and I've got a paperclip chain anchored at two points. They're each a meter away from the origin here, so it's a total span of two meters. You could say this is at plus one meter, this is at negative one meter. And the paperclip chain is hanging down here, and let's see where that is. That's about uh, 54 centimeters down from the origin. So let's go model this um, in uh, with paper and pencil and see what we think. All right, so here's the world's best drawing of what we just had. Uh, we had uh, here at the origin, we went one meter over this way, one meter over that way, and 54 centimeters or 0.54 of a meter that way. Uh, and one shape, one name for this shape is a catenary. Um, and what's a mathematical description of it? Um, there's something called a hyperbolic cosine, which is written cosh of x. Um, and uh, there's a nice formula for it, actually, which you wouldn't expect for something with a fancy name. It's e to the x plus e to the negative x over 2. And you might be saying, if there's such a nice formula involving e to the x and e to the negative x for hyperbolic cosine, is there something like that for regular cosine? And there is. You just have to really, really imagine it. And I'll tell you more about that later. But if you graph cosh, what you get is, well, what, what do you get when you plug in 0? e to the 0 is 1. e to the negative 0 is 1. Add them together, you get 2. Divide by 2, you get 1. So it starts here, and it goes like that. It looks kind of parabolic, um, but it's, uh, and it, if you zoom in enough, it definitely looks parabolic. That's kind of the big point of calculus, right? The more you zoom in, the more things look linear. Zoom out a little bit, maybe they look parabolic. We'll talk about that in a later chapter. And its y value here is about 1.5430 blah, 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 blah. So does it make sense that, uh, when we had that hanging chain there, it had a height of 0.54 from the vertex, kind of, of, of the sort of parabola up to that level line. So now let's ask, what's the arc length of that? Oh, uh, does this look like you would see in a suspension bridge, maybe? Um, so a suspension bridge. I'll do the world's best drawing of a suspension bridge and have a cable like that, right? Probably need one on that side too. And you'd have all these connecting cables. And it is a big old cable that's hanging, um, but it's got stuff hanging from it in a uniformly loaded kind of way. So technically that shape ends up being a parabola rather than a hyperbolic cosine. Um, but I've actually studied what they are for real bridges like the Mackinac Bridge, the Golden Gate Bridge, and it's pretty close. Hard to tell between parabola and cosine there, a uh, hyperbolic cosine. So if the road deck is much heavier than the cable, then it's more parabola. If the cable is much heavier than the road deck, then it's more hyperbolic cosine. Um, let's uh, ask about the arc length of Kosh. Well, our arc length formula is a to b integral of 1 plus f prime of x squared dx. So we're going to need to know the derivative of Kosh. What would you guess is the derivative of Kosh? Well, you might guess, well, derivative of cosine is sine, negative sine. So you might guess it's sinh of x with a negative there. But it turns out there's actually a positive there. That's one interesting difference between and, uh, cosine and sine, cosh and sinh. You don't end up with the negatives when you take derivatives of cosh or sinh. If you come back up here, you can see what's going to happen. Um, since is actually e to the x minus e to the minus x over 2. 
Um, so if you take the derivative of this, e to the x stays the same, you get a minus from the chain rule, so you just get plain old cinch without the minus. So then we're integrating negative 1 to 1, integral 1 plus uh, cinch of x squared dx. And now what? What's the integral of 1 plus cinch squared x? Well, do you remember there's an identity like uh, cosine squared plus sine squared equals 1? There's a similar identity for hyperbolic cosine and sine stuff, and that is cosh squared minus cinch squared equals 1, which means that if you move the cinch squared over, you get cosh squared equals 1 plus cinch squared. And oh, look at that. We've got a 1 plus cinch squared just waiting there for us. So we've got integral negative 1 to 1 root, and the 1 plus cinch squared became, becomes cosh of x squared. And then those cancel, right? So we get negative 1 to 1, uh, just cosh x dx. Now, what would you guess the integral of cosh is? Cinch. That's a cinch. So you get cinch x from negative 1 to 1. And that's cinch of uh, positive 1 minus cinch negative 1. And if you do all that math, you can have Desmos plug it in for you or something. You get uh, 2.350-ish. And so then the question is, how long was that paperclip chain? Let's go take a look. All right, here we go. We got it laid out on the floor, and we'll show the measurement. There we go, just about the right length, like right length, right? 2.35 meters, roughly. Pretty good, uh, not much experimental error for uh, this kind of setup, huh? All right, on to the next video.